Let's talk about stupid ass motherfuckers. California police chased a non-existent Antifa bus. Let's read. This is from The Guardian. On June 1st, 2020, a law enforcement official in the small northern California city of Redding sent screenshots of two social media posts to her staff asking them to investigate. One was an Instagram story. Be aware! I have heard from a reliable source that Antifa buses with close to 200 people, domestic terrorists, are planned to infiltrate Reading and possibly cause distraction and destruction, it read. The second, a Facebook post warned that buses of protesters planning to riot had stopped in Klamath Falls in Southern Oregon, but there was no rioting or burning as they decided to move on. Or uh, I mean, I love how those are two separate categories. Yeah, we did a little rioting, maybe a little bit of burning, and then, then we went to the next town. We didn't do any rioting, but we did do some burning. And then the next town, we did a lot of rioting, like a bunch of rioting, but we didn't do any burning at all that time. Like, rioting or burning, as they decided to move on, the post included a grainy image of a small van with Black Lives Matter written on the back. Elizabeth Barkley, then chief of the California Highway Patrol, that's right, folks, a state agency, Northern Division, which covers rural parts of the state just south of Oregon, asked her colleagues to look into the claims and notify our allied agencies in town. 90 minutes later, another officer forwarded the message to officer saying, the thought is that these buses are roaming looking for events to attend and possibly cause problems. They might riot, but they're going to definitely burn. 15 minutes after that, a chip sergeant told a listserv of commands that possible Antifa buses are heading to Reading, adding that the agency's tactical alert center had been notified. Tactical alert center? Oh, shit. The official said that chip aircraft... Aircraft operations were now actively trying to locate a vehicle, vehicle on the freeway. Bro, they got helicopters, they got fucking drones, they got fucking jet planes roaming across the entire state of California looking for these motherfucking Antifa buses, and they just don't exist. <laughs> like, the sheriff of a nearby Humboldt County, William Hansel, shared the information with his entire staff saying, Ball, be on the lookout for Antifa buses from Oregon. Antifa buses, folks. The actions of officials in Shasta and Humboldt counties last summer were outlined in internal documents obtained through a public records request by the Property of the People, a not-for-profit transparency group, and shared with The Guardian. They showed how officers in these rural counties known for weed farms and hiking are overwhelmingly white, where uh, were shiftly duped by unfounded allegations about Antifa buses, threatening to infiltrate the community as the United States wrestled with the death of George Floyd, and the Black Lives Matter demonstrations that sprung up in the aftermath. The records also showed how the agency's response to those unsubstantiated allegations helped spread misinformation rooted in online conspiracy theories. The files were particularly troubling, experts said, because Antifa conspiracy theories had inspired armed right-wing vigilantes to organize in response, sometimes with violent demonstrations. Right-wing posts lead to aircraft fucking surveillance. Bro, what is wrong with these mother... Dumb as hell. Unverified warnings about Antifa threats and buses of left-wing activists making their ways to various protest sites were all over the internet on the 1st of June, amplified by right-wing accounts including Donald Trump Jr.'s Instagram account. Already that day, NBC had reported that at least some of the rumors were started by a white nationalist group posing as Twitter's posing on Twitter as Antifa and threatening to move into residential areas of white hoods and take what's ours. On the morning of the 2nd of June, however, Hansel, the Humboldt County Sheriff, emailed staff to say he had confirmed with Chip that the bus is currently in Reading. So they found the bus, folks. They found the fucking bus. All right, let's go. They got the bus. Let's continue. At the same time, journalists, disinformation experts, and some law enforcement officials were debunking the Antifa bus rumors across the United States. Still, at a press conference on the 4th of June, Hansel publicly raised concerns about Antifa threats, saying his agency had substantiated law enforcement reports that Antifa did have people in buses. Folks, Antifa does not exist in the way that they are talking about. Anti-fascism is a literal political ideology. You cannot have a, a political ideology put people in buses. It's a way of thinking. That's like saying, like, fucking... I don't know, vegetarianism put people in buses. Maybe a group 
of people that are vegetarians maybe bought a bus and have a bunch of friends and they're going across the country. But that doesn't mean vegetarianism put people in buses and his brain. Like, again, I don't, I need y'all to understand this shit. Okay. So Antifa did have people in buses and suggesting the groups wanted to disrupt things and cause violence. The sheriff record shows soon received emails from a resident asking why he was continuing to make such claims without a shred of evidence, along with questions from a county supervisor about his comments. A week later, however, Hansel released a new statement to the local media, once again repeating his warnings. Chip confirmed the reports of an Antifa bus or buses. Are they bus? If they're confirmed. Right. If they're confirmed, are they? is it a bus singular or buses plural? They're confirmed. You've got your eyes on the bus. You can see the bus or buses. How is it confirmed bus or buses? That doesn't make any sense. He asserted, adding that the, he would continue to share information on radical groups, right or left, that promote violence. A spokesperson for Ansel told The Guardian that the sheriff had made those statements based upon information provided to us by the California Highway Patrol. The sheriff's office, she said, was not involved in the Antifa bus investigations, and no bus was located in Humboldt County. Police lacked basic social media literacy. A CHIP spokeswoman told The Guardian that the agency had received no evidence about possible buses beyond the two screenshots and said its investigative unit reviewed the social media post to evaluate potential public safety issues. She noted that Oregon police had raised similar concerns. A CHIP air unit conducted a short search for the buses. However, they were unable to locate them. I thought they were confirmed. How is it possible that you can confirm something, and but you also can't find it? Doesn't the word confirmed imply that you've got your eyes on it, you got someone following this bus around? What the fuck? The CHIP air unit conducted a short search for the buses, however, they were, no, they were unable to locate them. The spokeswoman said in an email, adding that no specific individuals were surveilled, contacted, or apprehended, and that no threat was identified. The full extent of the operation is unclear, though the spokesperson said the actual aerial search was brief. The Antifa bus mission was a 12-minute event. It is also unclear why Hansel said that there was a confirmed bus in Reading. A 2nd of June report from the CHIP Northern Division of George Floyd protests said no arrests were made and noted that all uh, related protests in the region were expected to be peaceful. What is clear to experts, however, is that the correspondence between the agencies suggests that they lacked basic news and social media information literacy, said Ryan Shapiro, the executive director of Property for People, who has investigated how police monitor anti-fascist activists. Chip had relied on obviously baseless right-wing social media posts to launch military-style aerial surveillance missions for non-existent quote or dot 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 antifa convoys he added the photo of a specific van with the be on the lookout warning could have resulted in serious harm of people who are driving that kind of bus when there's no evidence of anything or anybody has done anything wrong said michael german fellow with the brennan center and former fbi agent based on the vagueness of the rumor it is hard to imagine why they would have deployed those tactical resources he added the documents also appeared to fit a pattern of police aggressively responding to mild progressive dissent. Other records in the data set point in a similar direction. On the 1st of September last year, the Humboldt undersheriff, Justin Broad, sent an email to staff saying, We are in trying times for sure, and we must prepare accordingly. He encouraged officers to read an attached document which he said contained a good, uh, good material on preparedness for the unknown mentally and physically. The document was a police newsletter called NorCal Sheepdog about off-duty safety in the era of anonymous Antifa and BLM. I mean, again, this shit is ridiculous. Written by law enforcement consultants, the authors said these groups should not be underestimated and that their tactics include attacks on officers. The letter advised officers to maintain vigilant, uh, vigilant watch for threats while off-duty. Always be armed and ready. Train with your, your off-duty weapon. Prepare for the... The consequence of Antifa hoaxes. The rumors about Antifa threats last year were not without consequences. They prompted some right-wing militias and conservatives to patrol their neighborhoods while heavily armed. In Washington, armed residents harassed a multiracial family that was passing through on a campus uh, camping trip, falsely accusing them of being Antifa protesters. 
Repeated false claims about Antifa arsonists starting wildfires led armed civilians in Oregon to set up roadblocks. In some cases, police have expressed tacit support for such responses. In one of the chip emails from June, a captain spoke positively about the militias that responded to an Antifa bus threat in Oregon, saying the locals armed with long rifle shotguns and pistols wearing blue armbands to be recognized by police as friendly showed up to deter violence by their city. Do I need to read any more of this? Like... Folks, what the hell is going on? I'm going to be honest here. I want to start advocating for more policy changes in my, in my show. I don't know what's going on with the strand of hair here. Go this way. We need a complete and total shutdown on law enforcement agencies until we figure out what the hell is going on. Because this, my friends, is some stupid ass bullshit. 